everyone. I'm sharing some products today that I really like for my dog who's sitting in my lap, but she's way down here. She's not, she's not really on camera. So I have some bath products, some food products, and some other products for the car. So stay tuned. Let's start with bath products. Now, as you can see, I have a little dog that is white. So I have been using, even with my prior Maltese, I've been using the BioGroom line, and they make a shampoo specifically for white dogs, and it comes in this blue. This is a brand new bottle. Um, I usually buy these in <laughs> like three at a time online. I'll have links to all of the products that I'm reviewing today in the description box below. So um, absolutely love this line. It's a tearless line, but if you check out, if you don't, even if you don't have a white dog, they have all kinds of other shampoos for different kinds of dogs, like even a puppy shampoo that's even more gentle and some other things. So this is what I start with, and it cleans her really well and keeps her coat looking beautifully white. Then the second thing I use is this silk conditioning cream rinse. Now, if you have a dog that sheds that's a short hair dog, you wouldn't need this. But for a longer haired dog like mine that is a non-shedding breed, this is fantastic. And after she dries, it just makes her, her hair, her fur, whatever you want to call it, easier to comb through and brush through. Absolutely love it. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm sensitive to smells and I'm fine with the BioGroom line and the smell. Now, um, the other thing that my little dog tends to do is that she'll just get dirty. So BioGroom also makes this, it called, it's called Waterless Bath No Rinse Shampoo. They changed the name over the years, but I first bought this when I had my first Maltese in 2001. And sure enough, right after a bath, we were taking a walk. Once she was dry later in the day, it was summer, and um, we were crossing a side street, and she just laid down on the street and did a little hoochie-coochie and got this dirt mark on her side. And, you know, I was ready to throw her right back into the bathtub, but I could spray this on and then use a dry washcloth to just rub it off. So I've used it on my current dog. This dog, she doesn't necessarily rub roll in dirt, but she'll roll in something really stinky. And, you know, I just bathed her the day before, so I'll spray this on the stinky part and wipe it off with a dry washcloth. Love this stuff. Best stuff ever. <laughs> if you're in between baths. Now, um, this is a new product for me. It's called Earwell. I used to use a different brand, and this company reached out to me to ask me if I wanted to try this, and they're offering my viewers a 15% discount code, which is in the description box below under the link to their website. And this stuff I use after a bath. So this is great to use for dogs um, if your dog tends to get dirty ears, it's great to use after bath and after swimming. Um, you just put a few drops into the ear, and my dog will sit there and she'll you know, let me turn her head. And after putting the drops in, I wanted to show you on my dog how a vet showed me how to um, make sure it stays in. So when you put after you let's see after you put it in, uh, let's see after you put it. <laughs> She's not gonna, come here baby she's not gonna let me do it you actually rub under the ear because that's where the canal is I was making the mistake of putting it in and then rubbing on top of the no that's not how you do it so you put the drops in gosh can we cooperate put it in and then you rub under the ear just gently and that helps the drops get into the ear canal, just a few drops. And it keeps the dog from possibly getting an ear infection from water from the bath or water from a lake or water from wherever your dog swims. And like I said, just if your dog is going through a phase where they're getting really dirty ears and your vet tells you that, this is a great thing to use and ask your vet how often to use it. So discount code below. They have a couple cents it comes in. This one is... Um, cucumber melon so yeah it, it even has a pleasant scent so those are my bath products next I want to show you some food products I'm using for my dog 
Now that I brought the food over, the dog is very interested in what I'm doing. She wasn't interested in the bath products, of course. So um, my former dog, I had switched to a mostly raw diet when she was about seven or eight, and it was really great for her health. So I started this dog on it as soon as I got her. Of course, when I got her, she was about five. But I'm using the Instinct, I guess they call it raw signature. They changed, they changed how this looks. So these are actually round medallions. And my dog, as you saw, is small. She was only nine pounds. And I give her two of these for breakfast. And the way I handle, I don't go give them to her frozen, of course. They come frozen. But um, I put several into a container that's sealed and put that in the refrigerator. And they last about four or five days once they defrost. So I do just enough for those four or five days. So I give her two for breakfast. And at dinner time, I give her one. And I mix it with some kibble little little doggy kibble so right now I'm using this it's trying to focus on me the little plates <laughs> this is by Merrick so I'll get a different flavor every time and I'll just put in a handful somewhere between an eighth of a cup and a quarter cup and I'll mix it with the raw medallion and she just absolutely loves it and this is keeping her really healthy now um, I'll, I haven't gone online yet to find out where, you know, a good place where you can buy these. But if, if it's coming frozen, you really should buy it locally. Um, I don't think shipping is going to be a good thing when we're talking about frozen food. You know, I buy mine from um, Natural Pet Market, which was bought out by Bentley's, which is um, co-owned with, um, let's see, Marcus Lemonis's organization so he had invested in Bentley some time ago so I was really happy that they bought it out but they kept the owner and she is an excellent resource in my area for people on all kinds of pet issues all kinds of health issues and um, feeding the dog um, or cat or whatever you have something that's really going to be good for its health and they have all kinds of all kinds of things over there so I found the raw to be an excellent diet for my dog so a few treats that both of my dogs absolutely, absolutely love this is their number one favorite is the thinkers I buy the chicken or the duck the salmon one stinks too much for me but they look like slim jims I break a piece off and they just absolutely go bonkers for these treats and of course they're the most expensive treats I have I also have really liked wellness the wellness soft bites I can tear these or cut them with scissors and you know because one of these um, is really too big for my little dog and uh, my last dog actually choked on something that was about this size but was a little harder and I had to reach into her throat and pull it out um, that was frightening but um, these are wonderful and they're a good price and I can give them to my dog sitter and, you know, just bring a week's worth to her for that. And then I also picked up these for training. These are little training treats. Excellent for puppies. They're little tiny. Let me open them up. Let's see. They're only, they're only that big. So um, these are the Train Me Training Rewards. And they come in different flavors. I like that there was no corn or soy or BHA or BHT. So they're a little more natural without a lot of gunk in them. So that's um, food and treats for the most part right now. So every now and then I will feed my dog a little bit. She likes, um, she likes vegetables. She doesn't like as much as my last dog liked. They like cut up green pepper, yellow pepper, um, sometimes carrots. You know, the little dogs are a little more picky, especially as they're getting older and their teeth get a little sensitive. They like something soft. And I noticed if I steam some broccoli and put that in her bowl, she likes a little bit of that better than raw. So interesting. I think it has to do with just the texture and the teeth. All right. Now, two things I absolutely have enjoyed, and I'm so glad I do because... You know, returning things to Amazon can be um, difficult. And one of them is a bench seat cover. There's just so many out there available. So I'll link below to the one that I have. 
Um, so two things. It has a buckle that goes around the back headrest to keep it connected there. And then on the underside, it has a plastic connected handle that you tuck between the back of the seat and the bottom of the seat so the thing doesn't move around. So, And then it, on the underside, it, I let it just go down to the floor, but I could bring that part up and um, connect them to the two headrests on the front and have kind of a loopy U-shaped thing in the back seat, but I don't do that. Um, but that way the dog can't fall onto the floor. Um, and then the way that I keep the dog um, connected is through this seat belty thing. So this end goes into one of the seat belts and this end connects to the dog. And you can make it longer or shorter. I think I have it as long as it goes and um, she can actually reach the windows when I roll the window down in the back seat. Um, and also the important thing to tell you is the cover that I bought has slits um, sewn in for all of the three um, belt buckles, seat belt thingies that poke through so that I can use this. Because otherwise, if that wasn't built in, I have to cut it or return it. But anyway, so this works wonderfully to keep her in the back seat and to keep her secure. So those are my dog things. Why don't you write a comment below telling me what some of your favorite dog bath, treat, home things. I'm not even showing you things I have in the house because I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, if you have any questions, of course, post them in the comments below the video and be sure to check out the description box below where I have a list and links to all the products that I talked about today. Check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the images on the right side of your screen or mouse over the upper right hand corner and a little eye appears and if you click it, some other videos on related topics will appear. Thanks for watching. Bye.